Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can find more subdomains through the combination of permutation. So, before going to this video, I have a quick announcement to make that we are currently running an event for you guys that aims to offer real world uh, experience to the bounty hunting, right? So, you can join us out. We have only 20 seats available out of 50, and the last date of registration is 25 April. You can just click on this video to see how you can register yourself and for the participants we are offering two courses that are worth up to hundred dollars and a participant certificate and for the winners we have a paid internship opportunity that can go up to 20k depending on your skills we have try hack me vouchers we have two courses worth hundred dollar each and a certificate of participant so these are the things that we are offering to the winners as well as for the participants yeah so if you are interested then definitely go ahead and check this event out we are recording this link in the description and now with that being said let's get started so the very first thing that we need to do over here is we need to download a tool which is known as go tatter right so you can just open a new tab over here and just type tatter and then github after that hit enter and as you can see this is the very first thing that you need to click on. So I have already created a video on how we can find subdomains using all DNS, which is also works on the permutation, right? So what is the difference between that tool and this tool? So here you can check it out. So this tool has a lot more functionalities compared to the all DNS, and this is a fairly new tool, as you can see, it's been only uh, two years, right? And if you check over here, we have a lot of things over here. You can specify the depth. We can specify the mind up to uh, reduce the duplicates. We can use the advanced flag right we can use so many things we can also swap the domain so it has a lot of option it's fairly uh, faster than the previous version which is the all dns right so uh, let's see how we can use this tool first thing is to just copy this and just clone this in our machine so we can just clone it by typing get clone and just paste it out over here just like this and hit enter and now this will get cloned again it depends on your internet connection that how much time it's going to take to clone it out right once it is get cloned what you need to do is you need to install go language right so how you can install it just type sudo apt install golang minus y right and this will install golang in your machine as you can see in my case golang is already the newest version but in your case it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection now once we have that we want to clear this out and then we can go to the rotated directory just like this and over here we need to build this particular file right so to build this we need to specify this command go build main.go uh sorry so the file name is go data right so we need to specify go data instead of main data.go and this will build this file as you can see the file has been built over here and now we need to move this file to the bin directory why bin directory because we want to access this file from anywhere in the terminal right so this is the reason why we are going to move this so let's move this to the move go tighter to bin right here we are now the file has been moved and here we have completed all the steps that are necessary to configure go tighter. let's try to understand how permutation works right so for example suppose that i am scanning for subdomains on bpractical.net right and we have identified two subdomains right let's say test and let's say for example best right so we have two subdomains right test.bpractical.tech and best.bpractical.tech now this tool will try to use permutation something like this so let's say test dash best.bpractical.tech it will try to guess all the possible uh, possibilities or the permutation for using these two words right maybe this can try for test uh, test .com, something like this then the tool will try best test dot be practical dot tech right so in many cases you will see that you'll actually getting a lot more subdomains than the previous one because of the permutation right so because permutation is fairly unique most of the uh, subdomains are actually hidden and you can find it through the combination of permutation so this is why we are using this tool and this tool is actually quite interesting and quite use useful when you are into a bug bounty hunting or even you are doing a pen testing right now let's see that how we can use this tool so to use this tool we have to type go buster sorry go tater hit enter and if you are seeing something like this then it means that you have successfully installed go in your machine now we have these many flags right here as you can see 
we have advanced, we have depth, we have fast, we have MD, and all of these are defined. So we have advanced option here. We have we can specify the depth between one and three. We can do domains and subdomains from the subdomain, right? We can do mind up to minimize the duplicate values, and we can do bunch lot of cool stuff, right? So the important flags are minus sub to specify the list of domains that are uh, that have the subdomain files. Then we can specify minus uh, here this one right here minus perm so the list of permutation right so we actually need to download this list of permutation so we can use the permutation word list from all dns so let's see just go to all dns github and don't worry both of these links will be given in the description so you can just click right there and you will be redirected to this particular application now let's clone this out so we are going to use this words.txt let's clone this And now this here it is. Here is the words file that we are going to use. And now we are good to go. Now let's see how we can use this tool. So uh, before using this tool, let's try to see how we can find subdomains within a traditional way, which is using a, a, uh, either a mask or sublister or subfinder. I'm going to go with subfinder. Just type subfinder minus p b practical dot text. We are going to use subfinder on b practical dot text to see whether it detects any subdomains or not then minus v let's see let's wait for a few seconds and let's see what happens after that now as you can see over here the scan has been completed and we didn't found any subdomains right here right so this is the result of subfinder now please note that i'm not using any premium api or any kind of api from the using uh, the default configuration of subfinder so as you can see we didn't have any subdomains right now let's try to see how we can use go tater for this right we need to type go tater then we can type fast right to increase the speed then we can specify minus sub right and then we have to specify the file in which the domain is right in which we have the domain so we can do that so let me do it Clear this out. Let me create a new file. Let's say touch domain.txt and let's add the domain name over here be practical.tech. Right? And now let's uh, over here, let's try to run both data again. Here, pass subdomain. Then we have the perm and the file name is words.txt right over here. We can just type words.txt, then we can specify the depth. So let's specify the depth to three, which is the maximum depth depth. And now let's hit then let's see what happens. As you can see, it is generating a lot of permutation from the words and from the domain file, right? So currently we have only one domain which was bpractical.tech. If it has multiple subdomains like test and best.bpractical.tech, then it will also try to combine all these, right? So as you can see, we are getting lots of amounts of data. Let me just stop it and let's try to go with one let's hit enter and as you can see right now we've got a comparatively low amount of data compared to the depth equal to three one right so over here now the thing is we need to identify the domains that are resolving to some uh, server right some other application so we can do that by using httpx right so let's see how we can use httpx so you just need to clone httpx let's type httpx github and don't worry this link will be also given in the description just go and click on that link and you will be redirected over let's copy this let's clone it over here and then let's go to httpx go to command httpx again and let's build this file Again, it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection. And now, as you can see, the file has been successfully uh, compiled. Now we can move this file. So just type sudo move httpx to bin. Right? Now we are good to go. Now let's see that how we can use the go tater along with httpx to get the valid results. So move out. So this was the command that we were using 
Now what we need to do is we need to save this file. Let's say to be practical dot text. Once we have the file saved, then we want to for every sub uh, for every uh, uh, generated combination we want to run HTTPX and then we want to store the output to this HTTP.txt, right? So this is all we need to do in order to find the valid subdomains out of the generated permutated subdomains, right? Let's hit enter. Let's wait for a few seconds. As you can see, we got bpractical.tech, obviously. Let's wait. As you can see, we've got cdn.bpractical.tech, which was not there at the time, right? We've got a new subdomain over here. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now, as you can see, we've got two subdomains over, two domains over, one of which is the subdomain, right? So we were successfully able to identify the subdomains out of the permutation, the generated data by GoTater, right? So this is how you can use GoTater along with HTTPX to maximize your result and get combination of different subdomains, right? So first we are using GoTater to get all the possible combination of subdomains. Then we are using HTTPX to resolve the value ones. I hope that you have understood it. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cybersecurity as well as web development. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the screen right here. Now, with that being said, again, if you're interested, then definitely go ahead and check out our, the bug quest event that we are organizing. So, with that being said, keep learning and thanks for watching.